What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube world? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon11970. Thank you, as always, for checking out my video. I want to talk a little bit about how governments, especially this government in the corporation known as the United States, pretty much gets the people to become oblivious. They don't act, and how easy it is for this government to basically do whatever it wants, to pass any law, to create any illegal situation that they want, get away with literal murder at times. There's an old saying, and it just shows, like they say, if you do not research history, you're doomed to repeat it. So this is a quote that was based back from a Roman poet in the days of the Roman Empire. His name was Juvenal which I kind of find funny, not juvenile, but juvenile. I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced, but he was a Roman poet. And he said, and I quote, give them bread and circuses and they will never revolt. Think about that. In other words, entertain them and provide them with food and they'll basically let you get away with anything that you want to do to them. And is that any different from what you see today? So instead of bread, they're giving you food stamps and welfare. And instead of circuses, which we still have on occasion, they give us television, they give us sports, they give us music, they give us these movies, they give us all these things to distract us. And people don't realize that they are causing the demise of this nation. Because they're, like one of my subscribers said, there are no free lunches. And all of these millions of people on government subsidies, maybe they don't realize or maybe they just don't care that that's not free. It may be free for them, but they're borrowing money and our country is trillions of dollars in debt just to have to cover things like Medicaid, Medicare, food stamps, welfare, and all those other programs. And what it's conditioned people to be is generally lazy. Instead of hardworking people who earn their living, or even if they make their own clothing, build their own houses, make their own products, things like that, and become very independent, instead of doing that, they just sit at home, on average, and just collect money. And like I've said on a lot of videos, I have a, a family, I consider him a family member. He's been a friend of the family since around 1980, 1981. So as far as I'm concerned, he's a family member. He's just not blood. He had a stroke a couple of years ago. His family disowned him. So I let him live upstairs in my house. And I basically, I'm the only person that actually takes care of him. I to go food shopping for him. Um, if he has a problem with his government check, I go and take him there so he could buy himself food or whatever he needs. If he needs something, I'll go get it because unfortunately he's lost about half of his body's motor skills. So he can't really walk on his own and he's about 500 pounds. He gets very depressed and everything. And who wouldn't? You know, the guy almost died. He lost control of half of his body, which he's right-handed and he lost the right-hand side. He His family disowned him. He did nothing but eat and gain tremendous amount of weight. I, I, I feel so bad for this guy. But like I said, he's basically family. So I've, there have been times where there have been problems with his food stamps or problems with his check that he gets. Because he's one of the people that needs it to survive. He can't work. So there are people out there that legitimately need it. But when I take him, for example, if I take him down to the welfare office or wherever... I see so many people fully capable of being able to work, but they decide, well, as long as I can get mine, as long as I can get my free stuff, then I can go and do whatever else that I do. And they pretend to be injured. They pretend to be sick. They pretend to say, well, I can't find a job. There is always opportunities to find employment. It's just how bad do you want it? There's always skills anywhere from finding cans that people throw away and getting the money for those to people who could create art or people who can create music or people who know about construction or labor. There's always something. And, and take it from a person like me. 
I have a problem with my cervical spine. It actually has a reverse curvature. I've had that since I was a child to the point where I get migraines very easily. And that comes from it's pinching on the occipital ridge of, of the top of my cervical spine, which pinches on the nerves, creating massive migraines, sometimes where I can't even function. But when I'm DJing, I ignore the pain because I have to f feed my family. I have to have my bills paid. I have to be responsible. And even though I love doing what I do, sometimes you have to make sacrifices. But that's also why I've decided to make my own organic products and all the other things I do. It's because there's always a way. I would never take a government handout. There will never be food stamps or the card or whatever they use with my name on it because I would rather work. I would rather earn my own way. And all of these millions of people who are not legitimate, who are not there for legitimate reasons, are taking advantage and actually causing the destruction of this country. And governments and banks love this because all it does is creates debt. And all they get to do then is borrow more money. And all they get to do is put it onto the citizens. We're paying their bills. So while these governments and CEOs and politicians and bankers and all these people are driving around in their limousines, flying around in their Lear jets, living in their mansions, the majority of the people are suffering. But yet, they'll be distracted by the Super Bowl, by the playoffs, by what some movie star or some actor is doing, some gossip. And people don't get it. This has been going on for thousands of years. Just look up that quote. You'll see it was stated by a Roman poet back in the days of the Roman Empire. And there was a reason why at one point when the Roman Empire was going to collapse in the way they tell you it did. No, I'm not even going to go there. That's when they started having the Colosseum open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, free to the public. And the people loved it. They loved to be distracted. They love to be entertained while they're stealing your wealth and giving you a bunch of breadcrumbs and you thank them for it. And that's why I say all the time how people have to take responsibility. They have to stop with this, let me get a little bit of money, a little bit of profit, and I don't care what they do as long as I get mine. Well, if that ultimately destroys the nation, well, then all of your wealth will be gone. Because if you don't, if when people think about, talk about, collapses and stuff like that and how they are going to steal your wealth they've been doing it for centuries i mean every time price increases go up they're stealing your money i mean look at banks when i was a kid a savings account gave you about five or six percent interest good luck trying to find a quarter of that now so they're stealing your wealth with taxes with new laws with new fees with higher prices I mean, anybody remember 99 cent gas? Seems like that's a long time ago now. You're probably never going to see that ever again. But just imagine a teenager that's working at McDonald's making about $8 an hour, and they have to spend $60 to fill up their gas tank. That's probably a quarter, if not half, of their paycheck. You can't survive on that. And then you see all these job reports and you see all these statistical numbers the government comes out with. And when they talk about the GDP, they don't factor in food and fuel, the two most important necessary things that we all use. They don't factor into the equation. And when they, they finagle with the job report numbers, they don't talk about the fact that after a certain amount of time, I believe it's six months, but I don't have the exact number. I could be wrong, so forgive me if I am. But after a certain amount of time, you're no longer considered looking for a job. So they don't they don't label you. They don't talk about the fact of the part time over full time. They don't talk about the fact that some person that had a degree in sociology or whatever ends up working at Walmart. So, yeah, they got a job, but you can't live off of that. And yet we allow ourselves to be distracted through entertainment. So long as you see a bunch of beautiful girls or half naked men on the screen and everything and that distracts you, you're like, you know what? That's fine. Let me watch it. 
and you're not doing anything to improve your life and improve the life of everyone around you, it shouldn't be as long as I get mine. How about we all get ours? Isn't that much better? Instead of people worrying about themselves, how about the whole group? And that's why one of the most successful creatures on this planet that always were and always will be successful are ants. I mean, think about them. They are a collective. They look out for one another. They will sacrifice their lives to help and to have the greater good for the colony. There's no fighting amongst themselves. There's no power struggles. And ants have been around since the dinosaurs, and they'll be here millions of years after we're dead and gone and forgotten. Maybe we need to look at nature and see why there are certain species that have thrived while others have disappeared. I don't understand some people, and all the and it's the, easily the divide and conquer. And it's funny, I'm seeing so many of these YouTube channels being hated on and spreading all this misinformation and flat-out lies with no proof other than speculation from a bunch of faceless cowards. What are you doing? You're not helping this country unless you're helping it to be destroyed. Because instead of people focusing on what good they can do or what they can create, they're worried about having to defend their honor over a bunch of accusations from idiots. I don't get this. And there are people who love drama. I, You know, it's this country and this world is going to go exactly in the direction that they want because the average person just is not wise enough or awake enough or caring enough to want to do anything about it. And again, that doesn't mean getting out the pitchforks and the torches and burning down this this the town square. It has nothing to do with violence because that's what they're hoping for. Why do you think you see all these cops in all these military style outfits sitting there with their billy clubs beating them trying to let you know that they're intimidating you and they're trying to instigate things because they know once one person decides to do a riot, they justify everything they can do to you. Then they can create whatever laws, they can create martial laws, they can put people in prisons and Lock them up and throw away the key. So they're hoping for you people to be violent. They're hoping for you to be so angry that's the only way you think you can be it, that, that you can get out of the system. It hasn't worked for thousands of years. What makes you think now it's going to work all of a sudden? Do people not understand the definition of insanity? Is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results? Well, if it hasn't happened throughout history... What makes you think, what reason could you possibly have to think it's going to work now? And if something is too good to be true, it usually is. And that's why I even talk about things like Bitcoins. I understand people can make a lot of money off of them, but that's how they sucker people in. It's like, here you go. Come on, follow me. Here, we're going to sprinkle some money. You're going to make some money, and then we're going to trap you. And now, you know... We're just going to cut off your card. We're not going to allow the transactions. We're going to shut off your electricity. And there's nothing you can do because all of the currency is now purely 100% digital. And you allowed it to happen based on your greed. Congratulations. Be careful what you wish for. You may get it. And there will always be the black markets. There always have been. There always will be. And the people that are independent, the people that can do for themselves, are the ones that are going to survive any tragic time. And a tragic time could be something as simple as a hurricane, or a flood, or a power outage. People have died in those things. I mean, just look at what happened with the Hurricane Sandy. And I know, I was in the middle of it. I live here on Long Island. I live in a mandatory evacuation flood zone area. And I didn't leave and I didn't worry. And nothing happened to my house other than a couple of leaves dropping in the front yard. But there were people that for a week and a half to two weeks, they had no power. They had no ability to get gas because the electricity was out and gas stations wouldn't work. There were people stabbing each other. There were people waiting overnight to get gas, willing to spend two, three, four, up to five hundred dollars on five gallons worth of gas. I didn't have to wait online once because I prepared for things. 
doesn't make you paranoid, doesn't make you crazy, it just makes you not one of the people that has to wait in line or potentially get stabbed from somebody that doesn't feel like waiting. Because people will turn on you in a heartbeat. I mean, look at YouTube. If I make a video, if I'm, I could make 500 beautiful videos that everybody loves. I make one video that somebody doesn't like, they'll turn on you like that. So if they could do that here on a video where some people would actually get to the point where they'll hate you. I mean, there are other YouTubers where they're talking about people raping their wives and being pedophiles and things like that. That's, that's disgusting to make those accusations, especially unfounded. I mean, anybody can make a claim. That's borderline. That's libel. Those people don't realize what kind of trouble they can get themselves in making accusations like that. Especially with the intent to injure. <sighs> See, I love videos like this. I love the fact that I can have something on my mind, something that could even frustrate me or upset me, and I could talk about it. You get it out and you move on. And I love the fact that even though people may not understand why I do what I do, but I love the fact that I'm independent. I, I don't live on a government check. I don't have a 9-to-5 job that I'm making somebody else rich while I sit there complaining about how much I hate my desk job. I may not be making millions, but I'm making enough to be able to live and live comfortably and be able to take care of myself and be independent. And if there ever is a time where there's another Hurricane Sandy or there is even an extreme of martial law or something to that extent, and they shut down the stores or the power outages happen and take out the electricity and there's no food. I don't have to worry. If I have to make my own stuff, I have the ability to do it now. Making my own soaps, making my own toothpaste, making my own hair products. You don't think that'll come in handy if you need to keep yourself clean and you can't go to a store because the power, because of some flood or some hurricane, took it out for a week and the stores are out of everything? Because the first thing people do if there's a hurricane or a storm is they'll go straight for food, then they'll go straight for gas. And there'll be lines. And you may not get anything. And the people that are living on welfare for the wrong reasons and just taking advantage of a system, because as long as they get theirs, they're fine. What are those people going to do when they have no skills, when they haven't worked in years, when they just get a free ride from everything? You don't think the governments love doing this? How do you think they get the majority vote? Because the majority of people are either middle class or poor. And they're destroying the middle class. They don't want independent people. They don't want people like me. There's a reason why there are a few people out there that hate me. Because I'm independent. I can stand on my own. Always have, always will. And there are some that maybe have are taking advantage of the system. I mean, if you're a single mother or you're a handicapped person or you're somebody with some kind of disability or you just need a, a help for a while while you get yourself back on your feet... That's perfectly fine, but the people that have full capacity to work and are just taking advantage of the system don't realize they're part of the problem in destroying the economy. But as long as you get yours, that's the typical person these days. And that's why when I made that video the other day about helping that girl, the majority of people didn't want to be a part of it, didn't look the other way, pretended nothing was happening. And we're supposed to be a civilized society? We're no different than savages that were walking around in animal skins, living in caves. At least they weren't hypocrites. I hope people find a better way, because otherwise, be careful what you wish where you're going to get it. And there is going to be bad times ahead. And it's going to hurt a lot of people. All those people that take advantage of the system to the point where they get so lazy that all they do is spend time on YouTube hurting others. And they're not prepared and they're living in their mother's basements. They're going to be really wishing they spent more quality time with their lives doing something better. That's what regret is all about. And especially when people think those things can't happen. Because it doesn't take a nuclear war to cause a problem. All you need is a hurricane. All you need is an earthquake. All you need is a rainstorm, a flood. All you need is just a tree to fall and knock out the power system. 
doesn't always have to be this end of the world scenario with all the fear porn. I mean, we have enough problems with weather alone that could cause people problems. I remember a couple years ago, there was a power outage in the middle of July during a, like a 90 degree heat wave. A lot of elderly people died and that lasted three days. And they reported around my area, probably half a dozen to a dozen elderly people within a span of three days died of heat exhaustion. It's not an end of the world scenario, but it was an end of the world for them. So this isn't about fear porn. Just because you point out things that can happen doesn't mean it's fear porn. Fear porn is when somebody obsesses on it every single moment of the day. You can't live in fear. But you also have to be smart. And governments know how easy it is, and I've said it how many times, about how governments are professionals about knowing about how to control you through your emotions. Entertain you, give you a couple of scraps, and like they said, give them the bread and some circuses and they'll never revolt. And I think that's a damn shame. And I don't think we have to revolt, but I don't think we have to accept what they give us. Why are we giving them our consent, especially through our silence? Just so we have a little bit of their scraps? Maybe one day we'll all have everything. Everything that we ever wanted. I mean, they're already coming out with 3D printers that could create food, that can create machines, things that we could never make on our own or be a lot more difficult. Just imagine if one day, a couple, ten years from now, they create a machine where you just press a button and it, and it makes whatever you want. There won't be need for money anymore. There won't be need for the haves and the have-nots. Doesn't everybody deserve to have everything they ever wanted? Why is it always a select few? But in the meantime, I'm not jealous of that. I know plenty of people that have a hell of a lot more money than I have or ever will. I'm glad for them. If they did it legitimately and honestly, even if they got it handed to them from their grandparents, they didn't steal it. They didn't take from others. They didn't lie and cheat to get it. If you got your money in a legitimate way, if you're a hard worker or you had family that was successful and left you money or you won the lottery, more power to you. You're not part of the problem and there's nothing wrong with being successful. But I just wish there'd be success for everyone. I don't see anything wrong with caring about all of nature and all of mankind, not just a few. Because then we won't have a reason to have wars, reason to steal. If everybody had the chance to have a machine that created everything for you, why would you need to steal? There's a reason why most crime is in very poor areas. Because some of the people, most of the people, do it to survive. And I can understand why so many people go on the welfare system. Because it's easier. But easier doesn't always necessarily lead to better. And it's an easy way to control you. Because they've definitely controlled you to accept mediocrity. Even for the people that make a couple of thousand dollars. They're making trillions. They could buy everything you own a thousand times over. Because all they have to do is call the Federal Reserve and say, Hey, need a couple of million dollars, a couple of billion dollars. I'm going to buy the state that this person lives in. And every tax you pay, every bill you have to pay, every time they ask for a little bit of your money, every time a bank takes some of your fees, they're stealing your wealth too. And the more money you make, the more money they tend to steal. Unless you're up at the top, then you could just have a Swiss bank account or something overseas where they can't touch it and uh, you pretend that you're tax-free exempt. So I think this video is long enough. I don't even know what to title it. It's one of those ranting kind of things. I enjoy that. It's, it's good for myself. And I know there are people that appreciate it. But people need to wake up and see the bigger picture. Because we're not doing what it takes to fix the problem. And we're exacerbating the problem. We're continuing it. We're allowing it. We're justifying it. There's always a way to justify anything. You could even justify murder. It doesn't make it right. And there's a sentence, a saying that I've always lived by, and this has always helped me. And I hope it will work for you someday. Because the next time you're in that kind of scenario, think about this quote. Just because you can, doesn't mean you should. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. Peace.